Okay, let's talk about your steps. Uh, we're probably doing a crossover step here, obviously, because uh, your legs are crossed over. So uh, we'll see what you do as far as your crossover step and make sure you have a nice um, break step. But we'll see how it works. That's a nice break step there. You can see how it, it stops you and allows you to force yourself straight up. So that was kind of nice just the way you went. It went sort of like this way and then straight up, which is good, and there was no sideways float. So that's nice. So this one on the way back, the first step, right, you land. This foot stays off the ground, so you land, that one you drive this way, and you do that. It may be a little bit longer, so then you're, there's your crossover. This one turns, and it should be facing this way a little bit more, so that you have a little bit more of a break step. Although you didn't float at all, but it did. Uh, it will give you a little bit more height, because that, that's where the, the break step hits, it hits there, and then you swing the other leg around, and then that gives you the, the explosiveness to get yourself off the ground. So we're going to do it again, so here you land this foot you keep off the ground and you drive that out long 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 see this isn't as, as long as it could be you can make it a little bit longer and this one you hopped into which is good there's your nice break step this way which is good swing it around and then there, then your hands go up and then that'll give you the height so there's a there's nice footwork and you need to make that sort of a mandatory and a no thought type process so that you can do it without even thinking and so overall i like their steps and you have a nice break step in there so and there's your big hands up, you know. Good job. So good job.